Winter of the Deep Snow. The snow began to fall in early December and was followed by sleet. This combination formed a crust that thickened when the next level of snow would fall. This process was repeated several times with the effects being snow drifts over six feet high that would cover the tops of fence rails. The weather was made more miserable with temperatures falling below zero and staying there for days at a time. Relief would not come to the area until the following spring thaw when the rivers and streams flooded the lowlands, making land travel nearly impossible for much of that spring. By the fall of 1830 through 1831, Thomas and Sarah Lincoln had determined to leave Illinois and return to Indiana. The weather, however, had other plans for the Lincolns. Instead of being able to leave, the Lincolns were made miserable with the ague, a term used to describe a malady of chills, fever, and sweating. By the time their health improved, winter had arrived. This winter was unlike any other that had previously occurred in Illinois. Eventually, this severe winter caused fam families, including the Lincolns, to use up their depleted stores of food. It became so bad that Abraham Lincoln crossed the frozen Sangamon River so he could reach the William Warnick cabin to ask for any spare food. According to the Warnick family tradition, Lincoln partially fell into the Sangamon, getting his feet wet. By the time he reached the Warnick cabin two miles away, his feet were frozen. Over the next week, Mrs. Warnick applied a mixture of goose grease, skunk oil, and rabbit fat to lick his feet while he recuperated at the Warnick cabin. Call for Old Settlers Convention, May 25, 1859. The undersigned desirous of, be, of preserving the early history of the city of Springfield and Sangamon County, now known in a great degree only to a few pioneers, would suggest a meeting at, a, at the courthouse on the 1st of June of all surviving settlers who became residents of the county previous to the winter of the deep snow between 1830 and 1831 for the purpose of organizing a permanent society and furtherance of this object. Springfield, May 25, 1859. This is courtesy of the City of Decatur Lincoln Heritage Project. Years after the winter of the deep snow, many Illinois counties that had been established before that winter formed their own Old Settlers Association. These associations' main goals were to plan and stage reunions, gather and compile county histories, and participate in civ civic affairs. A person qualified as an old settler by virtue of having lived in Illinois during that benchmark winter of the deep snow. This, since Abraham Lincoln had lived in Macon County through that winter, he qualified as an old settler. He became a, he became a charter member of the Sangamon County Old Settlers Association when it was formed in 1859. And this picture is courtesy of the City of Decatur Lincoln Heritage Project. 